God bless you today, for today is the day the Lord has made. There was a tragedy that happened today in Texas where someone obviously was led by the devil to kill his grandmother and then go to a elementary school and kill some kids and a teacher. That is an absolute tragedy. How is it possible? It's possible when an individual says yes to Satan. Satan is real and he's always looking for someone who will listen to him, someone who will obey him. And that individual who did it, I guarantee you there were things in his life that happened that made him open to listening. If you were to ask him right now, does he know who Satan is? He wouldn't know. But the voice in his head, the desires in his heart, that was Satan leading him down a pathway, and he said yes to it. What needs to happen, he should be immediately executed. The Bible says so. There's no need for a court. There's no need for prison. What he did, you you just get executed immediately. That simple. Now, let's go to this. And there's nothing worse than a fake Christian. Fake Christians are worse than anyone on planet Earth. Yes, worse than a liberal, worse than an atheist, worse than a Muslim, worse than anything is a fake Christian. Why? Because a fake Christian, when people who don't know the Bible, most likely they're going to come across a fake Christian and they're going to hear things that are blasphemies, perversions of the word. And they're going to believe these things. And then when they find out it's all a lie, they're going to be discouraged. And they're not going to have anything to do with Jesus. So there's nothing worse than a fake Christian. But listen, look at this. Look at this. All right, this person right here. Unfortunately, this is a common thought with people. Um, let's just go to prayers have been prayed, but it's not enough. We need change. Prayers have been prayed, but it's not enough. We need change. There it is. Jesus is not enough. We need something else. We need something else. This is blasphemy. This person would tell you to your face they believe in Jesus. But they're lying. Because anyone who knew Jesus would never, ever say something so blasphemous as to say prayers have been prayed, but it's not enough. Praying is not enough. There's not a greater thing an individual can do than to come to God over anything. That's a fact. Now, let's go to Steve Kerr, head coach of the Golden State Warriors. Now, listen to this. Listen to this. Well, nothing's uh, happened with our team in the last six hours. We're going to start the same way tonight. Um, any basketball questions uh, don't matter. Um, since we left shoot around, 14 children were killed 400 miles from here. And um, tragically, I think the total has gone to 18 children. So I think the number is 18 now. What a tragedy. That is an absolute tragedy. He should be executed. And a teacher. And a teacher. And in the last 10 days, we've had elderly black people killed in a supermarket. Okay. What is a elderly black person? 
He, he could have said people, but he's virtue signaling. He just had to throw in the word black. They were humans. They were humans that were tragically murdered. I'm telling you, I, I'm sick and tired of hearing people defined by a skin color. You are not defined by a skin color. And if anyone tries to define you as a skin color, you should rebuke them. You should tell them, no, I am a human. I am an American. I'm not a skin color. So, but, but that's just the way it is with the world, the flesh, and the devil. In Buffalo, we've had Asian churchgoers killed. In well, Steve, if you want to go that route, let's go that route. There have been, during the same period of time, Jewish people killed, white people killed, black people killed, uh, Chinese people killed. It doesn't matter your skin color. Satan does not care what your skin color is. He doesn't. You're a target. It doesn't matter what, what color your skin is. Southern California, and now we have children murdered at school. When are we going to do something? When are you going to do something? I would ask you, when are you going to fall on your face and ask God Almighty to forgive you of your sins? When are you going to recognize you're a sinner in need of Jesus Christ? That's when something's going to happen. That's when something will happen. But will he do that? No. Will these people do that? No. They'll continue on with their life, not doing anything that really brings change. Only God can change the heart. The heart has to be changed. But the world, the flesh, and the devil, they always come up with the most foolish things. So let's go ahead and listen to this foolish thing. I'm tired. I'm, I'm so tired of getting up here and offering condolences to, to the devastated families that are out there. I'm so tired of the, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm tired of the moments of silence. Enough. There's 50 senators right now who refuse to vote on H.R. 8, which is a background check rule that the House passed a couple of years ago. It's been sitting there for two years. That's... The big solution, a background check on guns. Listen, is cocaine illegal? Is heroin illegal? Yes, it is. Is it easy to get? Yes, it is. If you want a gun, you can get a gun. It doesn't matter if there's a background check or not. If you want a gun, you can get a gun just like if you're under 21, you can easily get alcohol. Any drug you want, you can easily get it, even though it's illegal. Something being illegal does not matter. If the individual wants something, they will get it. To suggest that another gun law would prevent this is beyond foolish. But the world, the flesh, and the devil are nothing but fools. And this is what they think of. Another law. Same thing goes on in Chicago. They pass more laws. The day, uh, the day someone who has murder in their heart stops himself or herself from killing someone because they th gave a thought to the gun law, that will be the day that the whole world just no longer exists. It, it will never happen. No one in the world who has murder in their heart is going to be persuaded, persuaded differently because of a gun law. Think about it. Well, I want to kill you, but... There's a gun law. There's a background check. What? What? Really? Gun laws are not going to solve the problem. Sin is the problem. The only solution is Jesus Christ and crucified. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I would want to know if the parents of the children at that school, if they were saved. 
If they were all, if they were saved, I'm telling you right now, that would not have happened at that school. Let me say that again. If the parents of those children were all saved, that would not have happened at that school. That's what I'm telling you for a fact. Why? Because where Jesus is, there's protection. That's why. The only time someone who is saved can be killed, murdered, that is, is if it's for Jesus. For example, you're somewhere um, witnessing or you're in a situation and somebody, people come along and they say, we worship Allah or whoever. We're atheists. We worship Satan. And they say, you better worship Allah. You better worship Satan or whatever, or we're going to kill you. If you, if you believe in Jesus, we're going to kill you. All right. That's how it can happen. You could be a martyr for Jesus. That's the only way you can be murdered. If you're saved, you can only be murdered if it's for Jesus, if it's for his glory as a martyr. That's the only way. Well, let's just continue. And there's a reason they won't vote on it, to hold on to power. So I ask you. So they haven't passed a background check on the guns because they want to keep power. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mitch McConnell, I ask all of you senators who refuse to do anything about the violence and school shootings and supermarket shootings, I ask you, are you going to put your own... Listen, you cannot blame the president. You cannot blame the senators, the governors, the mayors. That's foolish. If an individual has murder in their heart and they pick up a gun and they go somewhere to kill people. How in the world can you blame someone for that? That, that is foolish. You cannot stop everyone from doing things. How do I know who's going to decide to kill people this day? Did anyone in Texas knew, know that he was going to do that? No. He woke up one morning, murder in his heart, and he just killed his grandmother and went to that school and killed. Who knew that? No one. You can, like I said, you can't blame the president. You can't blame the governors. You can't blame the laws. You think he was thinking about the law when he did this? He wasn't giving no thought to anything but to killing. Murder was in his heart. He said yes to the devil, and that's what he did. Desire for power ahead of the lives of our children and our elderly and our churchgoers, because that's what it looks like. So according to this liberal, who's an atheist, if you had a background check on guns, you would no longer have murders. And you know the scary thing is? He believes that. Well, Steve, there's a place called Chicago. Chicago, Illinois, has the most strenuous gun laws in the country. And what has it accomplished? Not a single thing. Not a single thing. Look at the number of shootings and murders every weekend in Chicago. And tell me what the laws have done. The problem is sin. The only solution is Jesus Christ and him crucified. A law is not the solution. Uh, activity is not the solution. A program is not the solution. Let's continue. It's what we do every week. So I'm fed up. I've had enough. We're going to play the game tonight, but I want Every person here, every person listening to this, to think about your own child or grandchild or mother or father or sister, or brother. How would you feel if this happened to you today? I would ask the question. I want everyone to call on God to reveal the truth to you that you are a sinner in need of the Savior Christ Jesus. 
But you have these fake Christians telling you that prayer is not enough. Jesus is not enough. God is unable. Those are lies from hell. That's blasphemy. Absolute blasphemy. The only solution is Jesus. And we have the scripture. If my people shall humble themselves and turn from their wicked ways, I shall hear their prayers and I will heal their land. The best thing you can do is get saved. That's the best thing you can do. And then you pray. But at the end of the day, we all have free will. We have free will to serve God. We have a free will to serve the devil. God's not going to force you to do anything. You have the choice. We can't get numb to this. We can't sit here and just read about it and go, well, let's have a moment of silence. Yeah, go dubs, you know, come on Mavs, let's go. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go play a basketball game. And, the, and 50 senators in Washington are going to hold us hostage. Do you realize that 90% of Americans, regardless of political party, want background check, universal background check? 90% of us, we are being held hostage by 50 senators. Like I said, a background check will do nothing. There's already background checks. It does nothing. Once again, is heroin illegal? How is everyone getting it? So, regardless of what these atheists think or these fake Christians think, the problem is sin. The only solution is Jesus Christ. All right, let's just finish. In Washington, who refused to even put it to a vote, despite what we, the American people, want. They won't vote on it because they want to hold on to their own power. It's pathetic. I've had enough. Hold on to power. What power is he talking about? What power do they have by not passing another background check bill? I am telling you the truth. They could pass this background check today and it would not do a thing. So for you fake Christians out there who believe prayers are not enough. Well, they're not enough when you're a fake Christian. Let me tell you, when you're a fake Christian, God does not hear your prayers. So that's why you get no results when you pray. Because you're a fake Christian and you are the scum of the earth. That's the truth. But if you're a real Christian, prayers change things. And the things that can change is your life. The life of your family. But here's the thing. This world isn't about peace. There will be no peace on this wor in this world until Jesus comes back. This world is about violence. You have the devil trying to kill everyone he can kill. And there's, there's no peace. So it doesn't matter. I could pray until I pass out. And yet people are still going to murder. Why? Because they have a free will. My prayers cannot overcome someone's free will. If you have murder in your heart, you're going to kill. And my prayers cannot control your actions. That's foolish. But who will understand it? Only those who are saved. So just to recap. The individual that did this is a devil. He should be executed. Would a gun law have stopped this? No. Would banning guns stop this? No. The devil will always find a way. To make it happen. Is the answer another bill? No. Does prayer. Change things? Yes. Is prayer enough? Yes it is for your own life. But once again. Everyone has a free will. You can do whatever you want to do. 
But the problem is sin. The only solution is Jesus Christ and him crucified. If the individual who committed this tragedy, this heinous evil act, if only he would have woke up this morning and called on God, that situation wouldn't have happened. But he didn't. He rejected Jesus at some point in his life and accepted the devil. And this is the result. So, you want to do something? Get on your face and repent of your sins. Admit you're a sinner in need of the Savior, Christ Jesus, and get saved. All right, I'm just going to end this video, but like I said, fake Christians are the worst. They are the absolute worst. Do not listen to them. So that's, that's all I want to say about it. God bless you guys.